so I'm filming on my phone today. Um, so this is going to be senior in a second, but that's it. Um, he ran out of the medication he had before, so I went to my, I'm going to my um, normal vet just to see what they think and see um, if he should be on meds or not. Um, just kind of like a second like, checkup because I want to make sure he's doing okay. He has a carrier cage with a lot of bedding in it and then um, a blanket over top and of course a seatbelt because I would hate for his um, cage to go flying. Um, but yeah, I put the blanket there basically just because I know it's winter and I don't want it to be too cold. So, and the car hasn't heated up yet. So that's why there's a blanket. So Signorina's with the vet. Um, Signorina is a girl. <laughs> she was like, um, she was like, and what gender is, like, what's the sex of the animal or whatever? And I was like, um, boy. And she was like, um, I actually don't see any testicles. So, Signorina might actually be a girl. I'm like, what? <laughs> she is going to um, give him a little bit of gas and um, take some cells from him, from the mass to see, or her, I don't, from, from Signorina. And um, to see, like, what it, what it is, she's going to stain them and put them under the microscope. So, um, she said that it'd be fine to put them down just for a little bit with the gas um, because she had a hamster actually too, which was the same breed. She also had a dwarf hamster for two, three years. And um, she told me she's very experienced in it and that he'll be okay. It's just under for like a few minutes or whatever. So, so she can get the cells and try to do some tests to see what it is. I've seen Irene as a girl, like officially. <laughs> I don't know how I messed that one up, um, but I, I did, I guess. <laughs> so, Signorina's name now makes sense. I just can't believe that I didn't know Signorina was a girl. How did I not, how did I not know? Um, that's crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, so they're gonna put Signorina on some new meds. So we just did get <sighs> some good news. Um, I mean, it's bad news, but it's good news also. So, um, my vet, Dr. Chris, she's awesome, she's wonderful, um, but she just told me that she, when she took the sample from him to see like the cells and everything, it was mostly bacteria, um, which shows that it's an abscess. Um, so it's a little bit complicated. Um, so she saw an abscess, like a lot of the signs of like it being an abscess, um, but she did see some weird nodules that are like circular and she doesn't quite know what they are. Um, so she's putting Signorina on two weeks of antibiotics and one for inflammation. So she's hoping that since most of it's bacteria that it will shrink down. Now that's just a hope. Um, so I really hope that's what we can do and that's what can happen. Um, she did say that there might be a tumor under it. Um, however, she has, she has done many surgeries on hamsters before, dwarf hamsters around Signorina's size and she's never had a hamster pass away on her table before. Now, I don't wanna jinx anything. I don't wanna, you know, um, but she is very transparent with me and if the abscess does go down and there is a tumor, she might wanna take it off. Now, that's something I gotta really think through and I'm gonna talk with her about, but um, there's a lot of hope right now and I'm happy about it and I hope that, you know, Signorina can be okay. I did want to put in here too that um, she has taken tumors off hamsters before. She's spayed tumors. Er, she spayed hamsters before. Um, and she's a very experienced veterinarian. She's very um, just knowledgeable. Like from knowing her with my guinea pigs um, and knowing her now with Signorina, like I am really confident in her. So if this is a tumor um, and she wants to remove it. She said that Signorina is young enough that it might work. And also Signorina is, um, she said Signorina is very otherwise healthy. She said he didn't have any in, she, wow. <laughs> I just found out that he, I just found out that she's a girl today. So uh, I gotta switch the pronouns around, but <laughs> sorry. So she doesn't have any tumors internal and she didn't see any cancer cells in the, um, biopsy thing so she didn't see 
that but she did see the weird nodules she's not sure what they are um she said she saw like a few different strands of bacteria and she saw lots of white blood cells and she said there's lots of fluid in there so she does think that with the medications she's giving him that it could shrink down a little bit because right now the mass is most of her body weight um and it's huge so she says she is not comfortable operating on it um right now but if it were to shrink then she would feel more comfortable so um there's a lot happening right now but it does seem more hopeful for senorina that maybe i can have her a little bit longer um maybe we get more time together and i'm hoping it's just the abscess i'm hoping there's no tumor under there because then we can treat it we can get her back to health i kind of want to cry right now um but yeah i'm just happy i guess so ah man okay guys so i'm back to my poor lighting and um, my phone for filming um, however, I did want to say that Signorina is not really improved. Sorry, I'm like shaking. Um, Signorina is not totally improving from the medication. Um, she, <laughs> she is biting at the wound, picking at the wound. Um, it's opening more and more every day and sometimes it's bloody. Um, she's acting totally normal though. She's still acting like herself. Um, she's still running on the wheel. She's still eating, drinking. Um, playing, you know, um, but yeah, so this isn't looking that great. I know in the last, I know in the last clip, I was really, really ecstatic and happy because I thought that she would, you know, be all better soon and that still might be a possibility, but I'm trying not to get my hopes up too, too much. Um, and I know that my vet is really good at surgery, like hamster surgery, <laughs> Um, but it's something I still have to think about. I know in that last video clip, I just, at the beginning of this video, I know I sounded super, like, um, happy about surgery and everything, but it's something I really still have to think through, even though, um, my vet's really good at surgery, um, so we're just taking it day by day I guess um, but I just thought I'd show you guys how I'm giving Signorina her medication so this is Enrofloaxin and I'm giving this every 12 hours for 2 weeks oh I shouldn't show you the bottle it's got like all the information on it um but yeah they come in these pre-made syringes um so that's one of them and then She's also taking, and that's an antibiotic, by the way, yeah. So this one, that's an antibiotic. Um, and then the other one is Medicam, and it's for um, inflammation. And that's every 24 hours, so that's those. And she is also on, oh, hold on, there's so many meds in this. Metro, Metron... Nidazole. <laughs> I'm gonna be putting all these on the screen as I say them. Um, but yeah, she's also on that one for it's another antibiotic. Um, so when Dr. Chris took the samples from the mass, um, abscess tumor, abscessed tumor, I don't know. Um, she said that these specific antibiotics will help for the bacteria that she found. So that does make me feel a little bit better because these antibiotics are fighting the exact bacteria that were in Signorina's mass. <laughs> um, so, and it's, um, it's about a week later. So it is Monday. Um, and the last clips you guys saw, that was Wednesday. So, um, and today is the first. So, um, yeah, we've been on the medication for a little bit, almost a week now. Um, like I said, there's not too much improvement. The size is still the same. Um, so it's hard to determine. Um, but <sighs> her next event appointment is on the 10th on Wednesday because um, she wanted me to schedule two weeks out after so that she can see Signorina again. Um, and see if there's any improvement or if it's getting worse. Um, we're really playing it by ear because the first time I went to the emergency vet, they told me it was a tumor and that it was probably cancer and that she was gonna die. Um, they really didn't think she'd live long after that. Like, I don't know why, I don't know. And they give 
um, her cyprofloxacin, and that my vet my vet said that cyprofloxacin for five days wouldn't have done anything, um, and that the pain med was good, but that um, you know there was no like real treatment for the bacteria in the mass. So um, yeah, I don't I don't know. We're just kind of playing it by ear because it is an abscess like there it is abscessed but we don't know if it's a tumor that's burst or if it's just the abscess so it's really you know what i mean it's really hard to get a feel for things um but i'll just keep updating you guys like like i have been doing i guess um so i'm going to give senorina her meds and go to sleep um and I will give you guys another update next week on her next vet appointment. Um, and I'll just let you guys what's going on. So, bleh, I'll let you guys know what's going on. <laughs> um, so, thank you guys for keeping up with me and um, staying on this journey with Senorina and I. I mean, I started this channel for Senorina, so it's, it's kind of hard because all my videos are sad now. Um, but you know i i want to inform as many people as i can about these issues you know because there have been misdiagnoses before and if i had just gone home and thought that it was just the tumor and was like oh well and didn't get the second opinion i wouldn't have even known that senorina needs the antibiotics and that she needed a second vet appointment and i did not know senorina was a girl you guys crazy like i don't know how i messed up on that i don't know how i missed it um but yeah, this video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to end it here. Um, I love you guys, and I hope that you will um, just stay tuned, I guess, for updates on Senorina. And I hope that these videos are helping you guys. Um, if you have a hamster um, who has a tumor or an abscess, or if you have a hamster and um, are looking for, you know, things to look out for, basically. <laughs> I said my wording is so bad. Uh, these YouTube videos make me realize how bad I am at speaking. Um, sorry to anyone who I've ever spoke to in my entire life. But anyways, yeah, guys. So I'm going to go. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you next week.